When I was a kid, I remember getting a Game Boy, you know, one of these handheld gaming devices, the size of a small brick, really. And I remember my dad told me that the computing power of my Game Boy was as strong as the first lunar landing space shuttle computer. And, you know, computers have just kept growing in power. Actually, on this dotted black line, we see something like a proxy for the technology of computers and how it's grown over time. But I want to draw your attention to uh, the blue line here behind me as well. And you can see that's also growing very fast. It's a slightly younger technology. It's the technology of DNA reading. Now, we know why we need computers. Otherwise, we couldn't play Candy Crush. But why do we need to read DNA? See, DNA is a data set, and it's hidden inside the cells of our body. This data set is kind of like the code inside a computer. It tells the organism something about how to function. And DNA evolved with life, so it tells us something about our ancestry, but it also tells us something about who we are today. And in a hospital, we might want to read DNA, because sometimes DNA gets sick. It can mutate, and these tiny changes in the code, that is what in some patients cause cancer. One of the challenges to working with DNA is it's really, really complex. If just one patient coming into the doctor's office getting diagnosed with cancer, we take out a few cells and we put it into one of these DNA reading machines, we get the cancer DNA out. Let's say we want to print it on paper to show our doctor. We're going to get a stack of paper, which is 130 meters tall. That's a lot of information, not very nice for a doctor to read. So I exploit that we have computer technology stronger than ever. I take 130 meters of data, and I put it into my computer. And inside of there, we tell the differences between the sick cell and the healthy cell, because these differences tell us something about why is the patient sick, and maybe even what we can do about it. In particular, I'm curious about a fact about healthy cell DNA. Namely, there is an autocorrect system when breaks happen, there's an autocorrection scanning the code, repairing all the spelling errors. In cancer cells, this system doesn't seem to work well enough. And I think if we can understand the autocorrection better, it'll give us tools for understanding cancer evolution, but also potential tools for how we can choose better treatment and develop better treatment. So I believe in the future of medicine, where we use the superpowers of computer technology, and DNA reading in giving doctors the best possible tools for providing patients with the best possible treatment.